In this video, I'm gonna show you the best ways to use Selleramp for Amazon FBA product research in 2023. I use Selleramp every single day in my seven-figure Amazon business, so we're gonna go through the best ways to use it, how it actually works, and actually only costs 20 bucks a month. You can try it completely for free, selleramp.com. So definitely give it a go, enjoy the video. So we got this product right here. We can immediately see within Celeran qualifying the velocity that the BSR is 21K right here, and that's in the top 1% of products in this specific category, so that definitely is gonna be something that makes sense. Right here, the prof calculator is probably what I use the most within Celeran right here, which just goes over actually helping you know, okay, what does item sell for? How quick does it sell? You can check with the on-gating feature in terms of whether or not you can um, list it right here as well, so it's just on the Chrome extension. If you're interested too, you can move this around on your screen as well down here at the bottom. You can go zap it over here, move it to the middle right there. I've personally gotten a good rhythm having it on the right and you can get it bigger or smaller here as well. And then I don't use this too much, but you can also open up to the web app right here and take a look at all the, the data pretty much organized on here. But the prof, the, uh, prof calculator is definitely what gets the most run for me. In terms of this item right here, we can see this is uh, current FBI right there 3694 and then over on this website we can see that we can actually go ahead and purchase this for $19.80. So, if we plug that in on the seller and profit calculator right here, we can see we would make $6 profit per unit and about an ROI of 33%. Now, this does factor in shipping to Amazon. I added that into my seller amp settings as well as you would add in your sales tax or prep center cost in there as well. So, this is exactly what I'm going to get after Amazon fee shipping, sales tax, product cost, everything right there in terms of the actual net profit that I'll get for this item when I go ahead and send this into Amazon FBA right here. So you can see buy for 19.8, sell for 36.94 right here. We're going to make six bucks profit. So definitely the profit calculator is where I get a lot of um, burn within Celeramp. I do also really like the uh, that you can scroll over right here and see the dimensions as well. That's pretty helpful. And then we'll go over this a little bit later, but I definitely use this Google button here as well to go ahead and actually look for this item across the internet basically right there and furthermore i'm not too much looking at the looking at this data right here i kind of see most of that in terms of like just the initial screen right there on the ui uh the alerts panel is helpful you'll probably see it right here if there are anything that'll be you know uh it'll let you know if there's any alerts on that uh keep a chart mainly just use keep actually for looking at the charts but you can use this feature on the chrome extension we do have a mobile app as well the mobile app is where you'll get a lot of the benefit of having the keep a chart right there on that profit calculator down here is really, really helpful as well because we can go ahead here and see this is the FBA price, right? So this is what we would make if we send this off to Amazon and handle, Amazon handles uh, customer service, fulfillment, shipping it, picking it, packing it, shipping it, all that. But what we can do right here is actually toggle this and go FBA to FBM right here. And then if we scroll up back here on the Chrome extension, we can see that the dimensions, this weighs about two ounces right here and it's uh, two by three by two as well right so if we were to fbm ship this this would ship really cheap probably around four dollars right here so we can plug that in and now we can see the roi with fbm as well even after the shipping cost right there so that's helpful as well um right here you can also toggle this on to small and light if it's a product that qualifies for it right there which is pretty helpful as well seeing the small and light on the calculator right there as well um variations there's no variations on um on this one i really use that feature Either way, okay, Google Sheets. This is a very, very underrated way to use Seller Amp to grow a business because we spend tons of time doing product research and you see when I do these videos, I get all these different tabs open and everything. It's really important to stay organized right here and a great way to do that is just getting good with Google Sheets and the Google Sheets integration right here. So let's say I found this item and I wanna want to buy it, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep sourcing because I'm in a rhythm, right? You would wanna use this Seller Amp Google Sheets feature to stay organized with all this stuff because obviously you're spending a lot of time finding stuff or finding stuff that's close to good not quite you want to make sure you capture as much of that profit as possible and make your time as valuable as possible so let's say for example with this item you found it and it was good right here what you can do is just hit this video example and you can um, go ahead and export that to a google sheet right here and now if we go over to example for video we can see that just added right here and we can go ahead and see the ASIN, the Amazon link, our cost price, sale price, profit, um, everything like that basically, which is really helpful to be able to go ahead and see that and keep organized. So as you guys can see, I have several different ones. I have a buy sheet, I have a check-in feature, an example one, seasonal items, Halloween, what you did for a video, 
a little while ago. If you have virtual assistants, you can have them have specific spreadsheets as well. It's just pretty cool to be able to keep everything organized like that. I think the most underutilized with that would be having a like almost good or a check in future spreadsheet where you could go ahead and organize a bunch of leads you found that were close to being good but weren't quite good enough and then add notes on them using this feature to be able to see that okay it was close to being good you could do that on spreadsheet as well and uh, make sure you're just capturing as much of that profit as possible on that the discounts feature i'm not really using right here now the offers is very important right here to see your competition and where their pricing distribution is right here if we scroll back up to the keepa we can see that uh, the current was 36.94 we can see the history as well it's trending down a little bit competition's trending up right here and we can see the pricing distribution right here of the other sellers as well as now this is my favorite feature of seller amp right here we can go ahead here and actually open up the competitive sellers right here and this is how we're going to actually be able to go ahead and find more products like this so not only does seller amp help you know what a product sells for how often it sells how all the fees break down and everything but it also helps you find more items because using the reverse sourcing method right here we can go ahead and open up additional sellers on this stuff to go ahead and actually take a look within their catalog and see what else they're selling right here so let's take a look at you know some of these different sellers we can see all the different brands they're carrying products they're carrying everything like that and we can go ahead and filter into different brands like body bio right here and take a look immediately at the velocity of these different items as well so what we can do is we could filter in by category we could filter in by um, brand right here and so that's a lot of the value in the reverse sourcing feature is we can actually take a look at exactly what products other sellers are selling and then go ahead and see exactly the velocity of those different items and then go take a look for them so what i'd be doing here is say for example i filter into pet supply right here right now i can scroll down and see okay this product is a 35k bsr right here and i can see my max cost is 12 right here so that's the max cost i'm going to be able to pay to meet my target minimum roi right there so what i would do is just go ahead and open this up scroll through these catalogs and find other items that fit my velocity criteria right here so like this one we can see from the green line that the rank's pretty low on that even though it says unknown right here take a look at that and then what I do is, okay, make sure everything looks good, make sure the price is stable and everything right here. And then I just go ahead and Google it and just hit the Google button within seller ramp right here. And now I can see this is actually gonna be pretty close to being good. Assuming that's the same product right there, 1274 right there is pretty, pretty close right there. If I can get any additional coupon on that, might be able to get this in like the 30 to 40% ROI range on that. And then that might end up being a buy, assuming this is the right item right here active vitality yeah it's pretty close if not right there yeah and i definitely just go ahead and look for a coupon right here on this but that's oh then there we go okay 10 percent off additionally right there so we're, we're close on that being a good one that's exactly what i'd be doing in terms of finding successful sellers that have decent review counts 50 plus reviews it's pretty hard to get reviews honestly these days go ahead take a look at what they're selling and then go ahead and look for those items across the internet basically with that so the reverse sourcing feature google sheets Prof Calculator, if you do retail arbitrage, there's also a mobile app that has all these features right here. And then if you're doing like high quantities of items, you just want to kind of break down a little bit easier, you can go ahead here and hit uh, open web app as well and see all the data broken down on this right here. But I hope this stuff was helpful. That is my favorite ways to use SellerAmp, which I'm using every single day in my seven-figure Amazon business. Make sure to give SellerAmp a try if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.